All right, we're here with head coach Craig Shaw of the Port Hayes State University women's soccer team for 2016 MIAA Soccer Virtual Media Day. Um, first of all, coach, you're coming off a solid season in 2015, going 11, 8, and 1 overall, and a fourth place finish in the MIAA at 7 and 4. Uh, just what are your expectations for this year's team and um, as we're approaching the beginning of the season? Um, this is one of those things with uh, the program here, we just want to always try to get better. Um, we've been in the top four the past two years and now it's making that hard jump up into the top two. Can we really compete for a championship? Um, the conference is so tough, a lot of new coaches coming into the conference, uh, teams getting better and better every year. Um, and it, it, to get into that top two is really tough, but to stay that top four because there's a lot of teams knocking on the door. So we've got to watch those teams behind us and we've got to make sure that we take no steps backwards and see if we can break in finally to, the, to that top two and hopefully win a championship would be nice. Okay. Um, and having all or nine all MIAA selections from last year, seven of which are actually returning this year, um, who are you going to look towards this year to provide leadership for the team? Um, to be honest, I'm going to look at probably the whole group of returners as a whole. We have 15 returners and new uh, incomers of about 12. So we're about 50-50 with returners and uh, incoming players that are new. So I'm really looking for that core of 15 that are returning to step up as a unit and really help out these freshmen and transfers who are new to show them what Division Two soccer is about because it is tough and is a big step up from what they've been playing. So um, as a group, hopefully they can lead um, and really make this transition uh, quick for those incoming players. Okay. Um, last year's team outscored opponents 18 to 11 in the second half alone, um, and eight of the team's 11 wins came on game-winning goals scored in that second half or overtime. Uh, what does it say about a team that's willing to fight late into the game, and, and what will it take for this year's team to achieve that same success late in the game? Um, actually, we are talking about it this morning in our first uh, session that we had um, about that, about the last 10 minutes of games, and, um, and we talked about um, three different things. Uh, obviously, fitness. Uh, we've got to be fit. I know they hate me when I make them run at the end of practices and work them really, really hard, but obviously it shows in games that it works. Um, they've got the fitness down, that's for sure. Um, the second thing is a big thing that we love about this program is we're a family, and we focus that a lot, is about being a family. And I feel like if you're fighting for each other, when it comes down to those last 10 minutes, you're gonna find a little extra to win those games. We've done that in the past, and I feel this group um, already in the, in the first session are coming together um, as a group, as a family, and there's just focus. Uh, making sure that um, you push everything else out of um, your mind and you push out the pain and the tiredness and, and any worries that you've had or any stresses that have gone on in those last 10 minutes really fighting um, through that and focusing on getting the right technique and putting the chances away. Um, and I think we can do that again this year. Um, they've shown me in our first session that they're ready to step up. Okay, cool. And last year defense seemed to be the key to the success. Um, all year as opponents average less than a goal a game, um, allowing just 18 all season in your 20 games. Uh, do you feel that defense is going to continue to flourish and be the key this year? I think it's, it's been strong. Um, the great thing about that, that group of girls is that they're super competitive. Um, that defensive unit um, don't like even at practices goals getting scored on them. So they're, they're a great unit there. And, and then Coach Hunter has done a great job uh, for us the past three years working with the defense and having that stability of the same coach working with them. He knows what I want from them so he can relay it to them and work them really well. So I think they're going to be a big key. Um, I'm really looking for our attack to step up on to, to that level. We've got the players and the ability there. We just didn't do it last year um, in, the, in the final third enough. And I, I think that we've got the, the, the girls there, they can do it. Um, so hopefully in the attack, they step up to the defense's level and the defense stays where they were at last year. You can get better, that would be great. Um, but it's up to, up to them. Um, if they put the work in, we'll get the results. So I'm excited to see what happens. Awesome, well thank you coach. Cheers.